All right, and we are loving the, your You Ask, We Answer questions, and uh, Kristen actually got a weather question that you're about to answer. That's right. Patrick emailed in and asked if a dry line caused a tornado, if or when you find dry lines, do they cause tornadoes? Now, a dry line, that's a meteorological term. Maybe some of you don't know exactly <laughs> what it is, but I, I'll try to describe it to you. Basically, it's just that boundary between a really dry desert air and then the moist air that you get kind of from the Gulf of Mexico out over Texas. Now, that boundary... Uh, with the clashing of those two air masses, the moist air, the really warm moist air, is going to be really buoyant, and so it's going to lift up above the dry air, and it's going to lift up very rapidly. And so, whenever you get that lifting air and you have that moisture, that creates strong thunderstorms. And especially because you have that dry air, the thunderstorms can ingest that in. That's when you get the microbursts, the downbursts, the really strong winds, because you have a lot of cooling as the air rushes out of those storms. And so, a lot of storms that develop along dry lines tend to be on the severe side. Now, what does that have to do? With tornadoes. What we look for in these storms that create tornadoes or cause tornadoes is rotation or spin in the air. So you got to have the spin before we can get the tornado. So dry lines, they cause those severe storms. If there is that rotation in the air, then you can get tornadoes. But typically, what we see is when the tornadoes do develop along the dry line because you have all that power and all that uplift, strong updraft, so then you get really violent tornadoes. So sometimes <laughs> the tornadoes can be worse. And yes, sometimes we do get the tornadoes yeah. in the eastern part of the state, occasionally in the metro, but most of them out toward the Texas border. Thank you, Kristen. Great explanation on all that.